you know, I love a good cheap alarm clock, but this one, sometimes on the cheaper alarm clocks, it literally sounds like somebody's broken out of Alcatraz when it goes. Bah, 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 bah. This one starts off a little. It gives you five little beeps, like. Bah, hey, better wake up. Hey, Ben, what well, better wake up, Dad? Hey, Ben, better wake up. And then it gets a little more insistent. Hey. Hey, 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 come on now, wake up, buddy, wake. And then the third one is, you're fired, fuckhead, you slept in. <laughs> Number three, I, I don't know why I'm drawn to the breast exam today, but I've lost a little. I know nobody's noticing, but I am. I look ripped, huh? Cut. <laughs> Schwarzenegger would be proud. <laughs> Schwarzenegger, he turned into the girly man. I can't believe he's folding on all these issues. Number three, Steve from Washington Uterus, Utah. <laughs> Jesus, I thought, Martha Washington's uterus? Literally, I'm getting mail from... <laughs> Dennis, you're, you're no doubt anxious about how to handle the inevitable Al Gore housewarming. <laughs> <laughs> a perfect reference for a guy who's obsessed with global warming that you have to get him a housewarming gift. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go shoot CO2 out of a fire hose. <laughs> I've got an idea. RSVP saying that you've come down with Al Gorephobia, <laughs> the fear of heated exchanges. This guy's clever. Please note it was a silly straw light bulb that went off in my head. Stevie, that is a uh, intact, well-written little screed. I, uh, I, I'm serious about this. I won't talk to Gore. If I see him, I'm not going to make the moment any more awkward than I'll nod. You know, I'm not going to do the, I don't see you thing, which is expire. You know, then they walk away with a little victory that you're that bent out of shape. It'll just be, hey, man. And then I keep moving because I think he's, uh, I don't like the guy. I think what he's done is bad. And I don't, I know he thinks he's noble. And oft times when men imagine themselves uh, marked for greatness, there are other people they irk. And I think he's overplayed this hand to the detriment of the, the, the country and the world, indeed. I think a lot of it is fake. I think when they have things like uh, Sweden and they all meet up there and you see how many private jets go there, I know people, they're going to poo-poo that. They're going to say, you're paranoid, you're uptight. No, I, that bugs me. I'm sorry. I don't like profits making profits. And I need a little more altruism in my Gandhi thing, and he doesn't have it. He's north of 100 mil, conservatively, probably a deuce over this whole thing. And to me, he was a doofus, and I'm always, uh, he used to be an amiable doofus in my book, and now, not so much. So if I see Gore, I'm sorry, I'm just not one of those guys who can fake the whole relationship. I don't respect him. If he pressed me and said, what's this about, I would just say, I don't respect you. Uh, number four. Enjoy these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.